Well, hello and welcome to my next stat matchup, okay? And this stat matchup, we're going down in weight, okay? Um, two, two lowweight champions. One is Hilario Zapata, the underrated lowweight champion. Um, and the other is Michael Little Hands of Stone Carbajal. So we will go through um, their stats on the slides and see how these two fantastic lowweight champions actually match up against each other. So first slide, okay, is champions and Hall of Famers. Now, Hilario Zapata beat 10 individual champions, just slightly edging uh, Michael Carbajal, who has a total of nine. In terms of fights against champions, it's advantage Zapata again. He actually had 19 fights against champions. That's compared to um, Carbajal's total of 13. And Zapata has more wins against champions, coming in with 12 in total, compared to Michael Carbajal's nine. But in the stats against Hall of Famers, they are much tighter. Um, in fights against Hall of Famers, Michael Carbajal edges this one with three fights against Hall of Famers to Hilario Zapata's two. And in individual Hall of Famers beaten, um, both Michael Carbajal and Hilario Zapata have beaten one Hall of Famer, so that is a tie. And wins against Hall of Famers, they both have one win against a Hall of Famer. So on this first slide, a few draws. Uh, Zapata's clearly fought, beat and won. More fights against champions than Michael Carvajal, okay, but there are a lot of slides to go, um, and we will see how the matchup goes going forward. But certainly at the moment so far, um, slight advantage to Hilario um, Zapata. And it's interesting because very few people talk about many of these lower weight champions. Um, you know, on my website, um, I'm going to create a fact file um, page where I will list all kinds of facts and figures um, about fighters. So... Hilario Zapata Carbajal, let's go on to the next slide, and on this slide, um, we are looking at title fights. So, Hilario Zapata had a massive title fight record of 24 title fights, better than Carbajal's total of 18. And Zapata has also more title fight wins, coming in with 18 title fight wins. Um, that is compared to Michael Carbajal's total of 15. And in title defences, okay, Zapata beats this one too, um, coming in with a total of 15 title defences compared to Michael Carbajal's 11. So advantage um, Zapata so far, but then in world titles won, okay, it's advantage Michael Carbajal. Hilario Zapata won three world titles in his career, which ain't a bad uh, haul. Uh, Michael Carbajal, though, won five, okay, as a multi-weight, light flyweight, multi-time light flyweight champion. Uh, Carbajal was also a lineal champion, okay, um, uh, Hilario Zapata was not, um, so Carbajal, um, wins that one holding one lineal title neither fight was undisputed okay so that start is a draw and in weight champion okay Carbajal was a multi-time light flyweight champion but only a one-weight champion Hilario Zapata did actually title in two weights so Carbajal takes a few of those stats but again like slide one okay slight advantage um, to Hilario Zapata and he's clearly pulled ahead um, so far in the stat matchup but on the next slide Carbajal is going to come fighting back okay what we are looking at on this slide is unified title fight stats okay so let us jump onto that now and it's a bit uh, of a whitewash this one um hilario zapata had zero unified title fights michael carbajal did um have a total of five when we look at unified title fight wins zapata again is zero michael carbajal won three unified title fights um and in unified title defenses hilario zapata again scores zero michael carbajal made two unified title defenses now, which unified? Um, Cab uh, Zapata was never a unified champion, so he was unified champion in zero weights. Carbajal was unified in one weight, um, and thus Zapata was a zero-time unified champion. Carbajal was a unified champion on one occasion. And the weight and times unified can be different. You can be a one-weight champion, um, but you can be um, two times unified, or you could be a two-weight champion three-weight champion and be two times unified because you didn't unify in one of the three weights. So they can be different. So, um, let us jump now onto the next slide. So, Carbajal comes back on this slide and it's a clean sweep. He takes all those stats. So, clearly in unified title fights, Carbajal has better figures um, and has fought back against Zapata's um, edging of the first two slides. So, let us jump onto our next slide. And this is quite a tough little matchup. Zapata is an underrated lower weight fighter. 
So on this next slide, what we are looking at, okay, is how they were rated. So Hilario Zapata um, was top 10 rated as a fighter for a total of seven years. That is edged um, by Michael Carbajal's total of eight. And being a top three rated fighter, Zapata was top three rated for a total of four years. Michael Carbajal was top three rated um, for a more impressive total of six. And neither fighter, okay, was a ring champion. So that is a tie at zeros. Now, both of these guys were top 10 rated in just one division um, so that is a tie um, and they were both top three rated in one division so that is a tie and ring champion neither Hilario Zapata or Michael Carbajal were a ring champion um, in any division so that is zeros so Carbajal takes a few of these stats the rest um, are tied okay very low stats on those final four and they are tied so over the first two slides Zapata had an advantage um, on slide one and slide two then on the unified title fight slide uh, Michael Michael Carbajal fought back and cleaned up on that one. Um, and on this one, a whole number of the stats are drawn, but the two winning stats are both to Michael Carbajal. So the advantage Zapata had from the first two slides has now been wiped out. You know, Carbajal um, has come back and pretty much um, dominated one slide clean sweep and won more stats on the other. So the matchup is actually very tight at the moment. So let us jump on to, okay, our next slide. Now, on this slide, okay, what we are looking at, okay, is their fights against rated fighters. Now, Hilario Zapata had 22 fights against top 10 rated fighters. That is significantly more than Carvajal's total of 15. Um, and in wins against top 10 fighters, okay, it's not only about the overall fights, it's about the winning element, okay? So Zapata um, has more wins against top 10 fighters coming in with a total of 15. Um, that is compared to Michael Carvajal's total of 11. But now, okay, it changes. So Zapata fought more top 10 rated fighters and won more top 10 rated fighters in, in terms of overall wins. But when we go to the more niche start of top three, advantage goes to Carvajal. Zapata had seven fights against top three rated fighters Carbajal edges that with a total of eight um, and Carbajal has more wins against top three rated fighters okay so he has four wins against top three rated fighters doubling Hilario Zapata's total of two and fights against ring champions neither Zapata or Carbajal had any fights against a ring champion so that is a tie at zeros um, and neither thus had any wins against ring champions that is a tie at zeros so in overall um, rated opponents for Hilario Zapata fought more and beat more but when you go to the top three rated fighters the more highly rated fighters Carbajal fought more and beat more showing that Zapata overall did better but against that niche Carbajal um, did better in there so time for our next slide okay now this slide I think was always going to be um, a hard slide for Zapata to win um, because Carbajal was a big puncher down there Zapata was not so Hilario Zapata scored 14 knockouts in his career um, that is more than doubled by Carbajal's total of 33 and chaos in three rounds again dominated by Carbajal Zapata has five chaos in three rounds Michael Carbajal scores a total of 14 and Carbajal also wins in chaos in one round okay scoring four first round wins Hilario Zapata scores just the one and when we go on to more niche stats, other than the overall stats, it's again advantage Carbajal. Now in chaos or stoppages against champions, Zapata comes in with a total of four. Um, Carbajal comes in with a total of five. Chaos against Hall of Famers, Zapata has zero. Carbajal um, wins that stat with one. And chaos in title fights is more dominant for Carbajal. Zapata only scored two chaos in title fights. Michael Carbajal nearly hit double figures with a total of nine. And chaos against unbeatens, Hilario Zapata scored zero chaos against unbeaten fighters um, Michael Carbajal scored two chaos against unbeaten fighters so this slide okay is another clean sweep for Michael Carbajal um, he has won all the stats although Carbajal being an explosive puncher down there for a light flyweight it was not not a shavers or Julian Jackson type puncher but down at light flyweight he had a lot of pop okay he could punch very hard um, so therefore I expected him uh, to dominate the knockout start slide and he did um, complete clean sweep so let us go on to our next slide. This is pound pound rankings um, and pound pound starts now. As a pound pound top 10 rated fighter, Hilaria Zapata was never rated, so that is zero. Carbajal was pound pound top 10 rated for one year, so he slightly edges that one. Neither fighter was pound pound top three rated, so that is zeros a tie. And neither fighter was pound pound number one rated, so that is also zeros a tie. And an individual pound pound has beaten Hilaria Zapata beat one pound pound rated fighter. Um, 
um, but Michael Carvajal edges that beat in two. But in overall fights against pound for pounders, um, Hilario Zapata has four fights against pound for pounders tying Michael Carvajal's total of four. Um, and Michael Carvajal wins in the wins against pound for pound rated fighters, scoring two wins against pound for pounders, Hilario Zapata with just the one. Michael Carvajal also edges the pound for pound top three wins, scoring one win against pound for pound top three rated fighter, um, Hilario Zapata scored zero. And in pound for pound number one wins, neither fighter um, scored a win against a fighter who was pound for pound number one rated. So ultimately there, okay, um, not massive figures there. You know, some of these guys, uh, you know, if I do a matchup with Kanzaneri and Armstrong, this slide is piled with huge bars. You know, not all boxers have huge bars in everything. You know, both of these guys have impressive stats in some areas and in other areas um, that don't have as impressive as stats. You know, this is just the nature of the sport, nature of careers. You know, some fighters' careers are more decorated. They have bigger stats in some things um, or bigger stats in all things uh, in terms of the Luis Ortiz matchups I've done uh, uh, his opponents have more in all things but you know it's just different for each matchup so next slide okay is rounds and points okay so Hilaria Zapata fought a total of 212 rounds against champions not overly surprising considering he's not a big puncher Carbajal comes in with a total of 116 rounds against champions and rounds against all of famous it swings back advantage Carbajal Zapata for 18 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Uh, Michael Carbajal comes in with a total of 31. But in title fight rounds, Hilaria Zapata is one of the 11 fighters from well over 1,000 fighters who have fought 300 or more title fight rounds. So he's in that esteemed company with Chavez Sr., Hopkins, Griffith, um, you know, Sam McVeigh, uh, Langford, Britain, etc. In over 300 title fight rounds, that crushes uh, Carvajal's total of 160. But ring rating points, okay, points based on their position each year they were rated. Zapata scored a total of 64 ring rating points. Carvajal edges that with a total of 74. And pound for pound rating points, okay, Zapata was never pound for pound rated, so he scored zero. Carvajal scored five pound for pound rating points. So on this slide, okay, Zapata wins on the rounds against champions and the title fight rounds, um, but the others are taken by Michael Little Hands of Stone Carbajal. So there is the latest slide. Okay, let us now jump onto the opposition slide. I'll have a little quick drink first. So let us go on to the opposition now. And it kind of reminisces the rated opponents, okay? When we look at the opposition bar, we can see that over the career, Hilario Zapata has overall slightly um, fought an edge on overall opposition over Michael Carvajal. But when we go to the opponent's beat, okay, Michael Carvajal clearly has the advantage. Okay, so this is a this is kind of a tie. Zapata fought better overall opposition, but Carvajal has done better in terms of opposition beating. So he's beaten a, 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 a better um, collection. Well, I'm not giving anything away, but he's just beat, done better on the opposition beat. So, you know, Zapata wins one, Carvajal wins the other. So that is the end, okay, of this latest stat matchup. Two lowweight champions who don't get talked about much. Carvajal a little bit, Zapata never... Um, but let us go to the result. So who takes this one? Well, when we look at the result, okay, from 52 starts, Michael Carvajal scores a massive total of 27. Okay, Hilario Zapata um, doesn't do too bad, but it's more than doubled by Carvajal's total. Uh, Zapata coming in with a total of 12, and 13 of the stats were draws. Now, some of those may change over time. Some of them, now they're retired, will be permanently fixed. But... You know, updates happen as time goes on, but certainly in this stat matchup, Zapata did well in some areas. Um, title fights, defences, champion starts, etc., etc. Um, but he never clean sweeped slide. Carbajal clean sweeped more than one slide, and Carbajal overwhelmingly wins this stat matchup between these two fantastic lower weight champions. I'm the boxing librarian. I'll be back soon with more videos. I'm out.